Many people have an illusion of creating a global movement to stop war. When I have done arms control disarmament work, some of my pacifist friends have said, why don't we just ban war? Um, I think it's way more complex than that, which doesn't mean that we can't together change the mindset and start moving toward a world of sustainable peace. But that takes re-education. It takes training people about peace, that you don't, that war isn't heroic, that there is heroism in war, but war is ugly, it is people crying, it is guts on the ground. Let's be realistic and stop glorifying violence and war. Start educating people from the minute they go to school about conflict resolution. You have to build a basis, you know, for people to understand that sustainable peace is not an illusion, it's not a utopian dream, it is a viable option. I believe in human security instead of national security. National security protects the institution of the state. And the theory is that, you know, if the state is secure, all of its people are secure. I don't buy that for a minute. I think that real security comes from meeting the needs of humans, the people who make up the world. If the basic needs of people everywhere were met, decent housing, access to health care, access to basic education, a decent job that, you know, brings you respect, there'd be a lot of less you know, turmoil and violence in the world. And I think that all of the work that people of good spirit, if you will, um, carry out for a better world for everybody contributes to creating a world of sustainable peace. The human rights people I know who do their work are contributing to sustainable peace. The arms control and disarmament work that I've been, you know, privileged to be part of is a definite contribution. People who are trying to save this environment are making a huge contribution to the possibility of not only of sustainable peace, but of existence. It's all of those threads together that I think will ultimately, you know, bring us to a, a real possibility of sustainable peace, and it probably will not be in my lifetime, to be quite honest. I think people want to be able to snap their fingers and, you know, have peace tomorrow. That's not how humans work.